The terms Muslim world and Islamic world commonly refer to the unified Islamic community Ummah, consisting of all those who adhere to the religion of Islam, or to societies where Islam is practiced. In a modern geopolitical sense, these terms refer to countries where Islam is widespread, although there are no agreed criteria for inclusion. Some scholars and commentators have criticized the term, Muslim, Islamic world, and its derivative terms, Muslim, Islamic country as «simplistic» and «binary» since no state has a religiously homogeneous population e.g. Egypt's citizens are c. 10% Christian, and in absolute numbers, there are sometimes fewer Muslims living in countries where they make up the majority than in countries where they form a minority. Hence, the term Muslim majority countries is often preferred in literature. The history of the Muslim world spans about 1,400 years and includes a variety of socio political developments, as well as advances in the arts, science, philosophy, and technology, particularly during the Islamic Golden Age. All Muslims look for guidance to the Quran and believe in the prophetic mission of Muhammad, but disagreements on other matters have led to appearance of different religious schools and branches within Islam. In the modern era, most of the Muslim world came under influence or colonial domination of European powers. The nation-states that emerged in the post-colonial era have adopted a variety of political and economic models, and they have been affected by secular and as well as religious trends. As of 2013, the combined GDP nominal of 49 Muslim-majority countries was $5.7 trillion. As of 2016, they contributed 8% of the world's total. As of 2015, 1.8 billion or about 24.1% of the world population are Muslims. By the percentage of the total population in a region considering themselves Muslim, 91% in the Middle East North Africa 89% in Central Asia, 40% in Southeast Asia, 31% in South Asia, 30% in Sub-Saharan Africa, 25% in Asia Oceania, around 6% in Europe, and 1% in the Americas. History Muslim history involves the history of the Islamic faith as a religion and as a social institution. The history of Islam began in the Arabian Peninsula when the Islamic prophet Muhammad received the first revelation of the Quran in the 7th century in the cave of Hira in the month of Ramadan. According to tradition, he was supposedly commanded by Allah to convey this message to the people, and to be patient with those hostile to it. These included the leaders of the Quraysh, the ruling tribe of Mecca, who opposed the assertion of Tawhid monotheism and abolishing what Muhammad branded, idolatry, meaning the worship of gods other than Allah at the Kaaba, such as Hubal and the goddesses Al-Lat, Al-Uzza and Manat. After thirteen years of spreading this message, despite increased persecution by the Quraysh, Muhammad and his followers migrated to Medina to establish a new state under the Prophet's leadership and away from persecution. This migration, called the Hijra, marks the first year of the Islamic calendar. Islam was then spread to other parts of the Arabian Peninsula over the course of Muhammad's life. After Muhammad died in 632, his successors the Caliphs continued to lead the Muslim community based on his teachings and guidelines of the Quran. The majority of Muslims consider the first four successors to be rightly guided or Rashidun. The Rashidun Caliphate's conquests spread Islam beyond the Arabian Peninsula, stretching from northwest India, across Central Asia, the Near East, North Africa, southern Italy, and the Iberian Peninsula, to the Pyrenees. The Arab Muslims were unable to conquer the entire Christian Byzantine Empire in Asia Minor, however. The succeeding Umayyad Caliphate attempted two failed sieges of Constantinople in 674-678 and 717-718. Meanwhile, the Muslim community tore itself apart into the rivaling Sunni and Shia sects since the killing of Caliph Uthman in 656, resulting in a succession crisis that has never been resolved. The following first, second and third fitnas and finally the Abbasid Revolution 746 also definitively destroyed the political unity of the Muslims, who have been inhabiting multiple states ever since. Subsequent empires dominated by Muslims, such as those of the Abbasids, Fatimids, Almoravids, Seljukids, Ayyubids, Ajuran, Adal and Warsangali in Somalia, Mughals in the Indian subcontinent India, Bangladesh, Afghanistan e, t, c, Timurids and Safavids in Persia Persia and Ottomans in Anatolia, were among the influential and distinguished powers in the world. 
19th century colonialism and 20th century decolonization have resulted in several independent Muslim majority states around the world, with vastly differing attitudes towards and political influences granted to, or restricted for, Islam from country to country. These have revolved around the question of Islam's compatibility with other ideological concepts such as secularism, nationalism, especially Arab nationalism and pan-Arabism, as opposed to pan-Islamism, socialism. See also Arab socialism and socialism in Iran, democracy. See Islamic democracy, republicanism. See also Islamic republic, liberalism and progressivism, feminism, capitalism and more. Topic: Classical culture. The term, ''Islamic Golden Age'' has been attributed to a period in history wherein science, economic development and cultural works in most of the Muslim-dominated world flourished. The age is traditionally understood to have begun during the reign of the Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid with the inauguration of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad, where scholars from various parts of the world sought to translate and gather all the known world's knowledge into Arabic, and to have ended with the collapse of the Abbasid Caliphate due to Mongol invasions and the siege of Baghdad in 1258. The Abbasids were influenced by the Quranic injunctions and hadiths, such as the ink of a scholar is more holy than the blood of a martyr," that stressed the value of knowledge. The major Islamic capital cities of Baghdad, Cairo, and Cordoba became the main intellectual centers for science, philosophy, medicine, and education. During this period, the Muslim world was a collection of cultures, they drew together and advanced the knowledge gained from the ancient Greek, Roman, Persian, Chinese, Indian, Egyptian, and Phoenician civilizations. Topic. Ceramics Between the 8th and 18th centuries, the use of ceramic glaze was prevalent in Islamic art, usually assuming the form of elaborate pottery. Tin opacified glazing was one of the earliest new technologies developed by the Islamic potters. The first Islamic opaque glazes can be found as blue painted ware in Basra, dating to around the 8th century. Another contribution was the development of fritware, originating from 9th century Iraq. Other centers for innovative ceramic pottery in the Old World included Fustat from 975 to 1075, Damascus from 1100 to around 1600, and Tabriz from 1470 to 1550. Topic: <laughs> Literature The best known work of fiction from the Islamic world is One Thousand and One Nights in Persian, Hezer o Yek Sab greater than Arabic, Alf Layl at Wa El Layla equals One Thousand Night and One Night or Asterisk Arabian Nights, a name invented by early Western translators, which is a compilation of folk tales from Sanskrit, Persian, and later Arabian fables. The original concept is derived from a pre-Islamic Persian prototype Hezer Afsan Thousand Fables that relied on particular Indian elements. It reached its final form by the 14th century. The number and type of tales have varied from one manuscript to another. All Arabian fantasy tales tend to be called Arabian Nights stories when translated into English, regardless of whether they appear in the Book of One Thousand and One Nights or not. This work has been very influential in the West since it was translated in the 18th century, first by Antoine Galland. Imitations were written, especially in France. Various characters from this epic have themselves become cultural icons in Western culture, such as Aladdin, Sinbad the Sailor and Ali Baba. A famous example of Arabic poetry and Persian poetry on romance love is Layla and Majnun, dating back to the Umayyad era in the 7th century. It is a tragic story of undying love. Ferdowsi's Shahnameh, the national epic of Iran, is a mythical and heroic retelling of Persian history. Amir Arsalan was also a popular mythical Persian story, which has influenced some modern works of fantasy fiction, such as the heroic legend of Arslan. Ibn Tufail and Ibn al-Nafis were pioneers of the philosophical novel. Ibn Tufail wrote the first Arabic novel Hay ibn Yaqdan Philosophus Autodidactus as a response to al-Ghazali's The Incoherence of the Philosophers, and then Ibn al-Nafis also wrote a novel Theologus Autodidactus as a response to Ibn Tufail's Philosophus Autodidactus. Both of these narratives had protagonists Hay in Philosophus Autodidactus and Camille in Theologus Autodidactus who were autodidactic feral children living in seclusion on a desert island, both being the earliest examples of a desert island story. 
However, while Hay lives alone with animals on the desert island for the rest of the story in Philosophus Autodidactus, the story of Camille extends beyond the desert island setting in Theologus Autodidactus, developing into the earliest known coming of age plot and eventually becoming the first example of a science fiction novel, Theologus Autodidactus, written by the Arabian polymath Ibn al Nafis, is the first example of a science fiction novel. It deals with various science fiction elements such as spontaneous generation, futurology, the end of the world and doomsday, resurrection, and the afterlife. Rather than giving supernatural or mythological explanations for these events, Ibn al-Nafis attempted to explain these plot elements using the scientific knowledge of biology, astronomy, cosmology and geology known in his time. Ibn al-Nafis fiction explained Islamic religious teachings via science and Islamic philosophy. A Latin translation of Ibn Tufail's work, Philosophus Autodidactus, first appeared in 1671, prepared by Edward Pokic the Younger, followed by an English translation by Simon Ockley in 1708, as well as German and Dutch translations. These translations might have later inspired Daniel Defoe to write Robinson Crusoe, regarded as the first novel in English. Philosophus Autodidactus, continuing the thoughts of philosophers such as Aristotle from earlier ages, inspired Robert Boyle to write his own philosophical novel set on an island, The Aspiring Naturalist. Dante Alighieri's Divine Comedy, derived features of and episodes about Bolgia from Arabic works on Islamic eschatology, the Hadith and the Kitab al-Miraj translated into Latin in 1264 or shortly before as Liber Scale Makameti concerning the ascension to heaven of Muhammad, and the spiritual writings of Ibn Arabi, the Moors also had a noticeable influence on the works of George Peel and William Shakespeare. Some of their works featured Moorish characters, such as Peel's The Battle of Alcazar and Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice, Titus Andronicus and Othello, which featured a Moorish Othello as its title character. These works are said to have been inspired by several Moorish delegations from Morocco to Elizabethan England at the beginning of the 17th century. Topic. Philosophy One of the common definitions for Islamic philosophy is the style of philosophy produced within the framework of Islamic culture. Islamic philosophy, in this definition, is neither necessarily concerned with religious issues, nor is exclusively produced by Muslims. The Persian scholar Ibn Sina Avicenna had more than 450 books attributed to him. His writings were concerned with various subjects, most notably philosophy and medicine. His medical textbook The Canon of Medicine was used as the standard text in European universities for centuries. He also wrote The Book of Healing, an influential scientific and philosophical encyclopedia. One of the most influential Muslim philosophers in the West was Averroes Ibn Rushd, founder of the Averroism school of philosophy, whose works and commentaries affected the rise of secular thought in Europe. He also developed the concept of existence precedes essence. Another figure from the Islamic Golden Age, Avicenna, also founded his own Avicennism school of philosophy, which was influential in both Islamic and Christian lands. He was also a critic of Aristotelian logic and founder of Avicennian logic, developed the concepts of empiricism and tabula rasa, and distinguished between essence and existence. Yet another influential philosopher who had an influence on modern philosophy was Ibn Tufail. His philosophical novel, Hay ibn Yaqda, translated into Latin as Philosophus Autodidactus in 1671, developed the themes of empiricism, tabula rasa, nature versus nurture, condition of possibility, materialism, and Molyneux's problem. European scholars and writers influenced by this novel include John Locke, Gottfried Leibniz, Melchizedek Tavenot, John Wallace, Christian Huygens, George Keith, Robert Barclay, the Quakers, and Samuel Hartlieb. Islamic philosophers continued making advances in philosophy through to the 17th century, when Mullah Sadra founded his school of transcendent theosophy and developed the concept of existentialism. Other influential Muslim philosophers include Al Jahiz, a pioneer in evolutionary thought, Ibn al Hayth. 
Latham, Alhazen, a pioneer of phenomenology and the philosophy of science and a critic of Aristotelian natural philosophy and Aristotle's concept of place Topos, Al-Biruni, a critic of Aristotelian natural philosophy, Ibn Tufayl and Ibn al-Nafis, pioneers of the philosophical novel, Shahab al-Din Surawardi, founder of Illuminationist philosophy, Fakhr al-Din al-Razi, a critic of Aristotelian logic and a pioneer of inductive logic, and Ibn Khaldun, a pioneer in the philosophy of history. Topic. Sciences Muslim scientists contributed to advances in the sciences. They placed far greater emphasis on experiment than had the Greeks. This led to an early scientific method being developed in the Muslim world, where progress in methodology was made, beginning with the experiments of Ibn al-Haytham al on optics from circa 1000, in his Book of Optics. The most important development of the scientific method was the use of experiments to distinguish between competing scientific theories set within a generally empirical orientation, which began among Muslim scientists. Ibn al-Haytham is also regarded as the father of optics, especially for his empirical proof of the intromission theory of light. Some have also described Ibn al-Haytham as the first scientist. Al Quartzimis invented the log base systems that are being used today. He also contributed theorems in trigonometry as well as limits. Recent studies show that it is very likely that the medieval Muslim artists were aware of advanced decagonal quasi crystal geometry discovered half a millennium later in the 1970s and 1980s in the West and used it in intricate decorative tilework in the architecture. Muslim physicians contributed to the field of medicine, including the subjects of anatomy and physiology, such as in the 15th century Persian work by Mansur ibn Muhammad ibn al Faqi Ilyas entitled Tashra al Badan Anatomy of the Body, which contained comprehensive diagrams of the body's structural, nervous and circulatory systems, or in the work of the Egyptian physician Ibn al-Nafis, who proposed the theory of pulmonary circulation. Avicenna's The Canon of Medicine remained an authoritative medical textbook in Europe until the 18th century. Abu al-Qasim al-Zarawi also known as Abulkasis, contributed to the discipline of medical surgery with his Kitab al-Tazrif a medical encyclopedia which was later translated to Latin and used in European and Muslim medical schools for centuries. Other medical advancements came in the fields of pharmacology and pharmacy. In astronomy, Muhammad ibn Habir al Harani al Batani improved the precision of the measurement of the precession of the Earth's axis. The corrections made to the geocentric model by al Batani, Averroes, Nasir al Din al Tusi, Muayyad al Din al Urdi, and Ibn al Shatir were later incorporated into the Copernican heliocentric model. Heliocentric theories were also discussed by several other Muslim astronomers such as al Biruni, al Sija, Qotb al Din Shirazi, and Najm al Din al Khazwini al Khatibi. The astrolabe, though originally developed by the Greeks, was perfected by Islamic astronomers and engineers, and was subsequently brought to Europe. Some most famous scientists from the medieval Islamic world include Habir ibn Hayyan, al-Farabi, Abu al-Qasim al-Zarawi, ibn al-Haytham, al-Biruni, Avicenna, Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, and ibn Khaldun. Technology In technology, the Muslim world adopted papermaking from China. The knowledge of gunpowder was also transmitted from China via predominantly Islamic countries, where formulas for pure potassium nitrate were developed. Advances were made in irrigation and farming, using new technology such as the windmill. Crops such as almonds and citrus fruit were brought to Europe through Al-Andalus, and sugar cultivation was gradually adopted by the Europeans. Arab merchants dominated trade in the Indian Ocean until the arrival of the Portuguese in the 16th century. Hormuz was an important center for this trade. There was also a dense network of trade routes in the Mediterranean, along which Muslim-majority countries traded with each other and with European powers such as Venice, Genoa and Catalonia. The Silk Road crossing Central Asia passed through Muslim states between China and Europe. Muslim engineers in the Islamic world made a number of innovative industrial uses of hydropower, and early industrial uses of tidal power and wind power, fossil fuels such as petroleum, and early large factory complexes tiras in Arabic. The industrial uses of watermills in the Islamic world date back to the 7th century, while horizontal wheeled and vertical wheeled water mills were both in widespread use since at least the 9th century. 
A variety of industrial mills were being employed in the Islamic world, including early fulling mills, grist mills, hullers, sawmills, ship mills, stamp mills, steel mills, sugar mills, tide mills and windmills. By the 11th century, every province throughout the Islamic world had these industrial mills in operation, from Al-Andalus and North Africa to the Middle East and Central Asia. Muslim engineers also invented crankshafts and water turbines, employed gears in mills and water raising machines, and pioneered the use of dams as a source of water power, used to provide additional power to watermills and water raising machines. Such advances made it possible for industrial tasks that were previously driven by manual labor in ancient times to be mechanized and driven by machinery instead in the medieval Islamic world. The transfer of these technologies to medieval Europe had an influence on the Industrial Revolution. Gunpowder empires Scholars often use the term gunpowder empires to describe the Islamic empires of the Safavid, Ottoman and Mughal. Each of these three empires had considerable military exploits using the newly developed firearms, especially cannon and small arms, to create their empires. They existed primarily between the 14th and the late 17th centuries. Topic: <laughs> Great Divergence The Great Divergence was the reason why European colonial powers militarily defeated pre-existing Oriental powers like the Mughal Empire, Ottoman Empire and many smaller states in the pre-modern Greater Middle East, and initiated a period known as colonialism. <laughs> colonialism Beginning with the 15th century, colonialism by European powers particularly, but not exclusively, Britain, Spain, Portugal, France, the Netherlands, Italy, Germany, Russia, Austria, and Belgium profoundly affected Muslim-majority societies in Africa, Europe, the Middle East and Asia. Colonialism was often advanced by conflict with mercantile initiatives by colonial powers and caused tremendous social upheavals in Muslim dominated societies. A number of Muslim majority societies reacted to Western powers with zealotry and thus initiating the rise of pan Islamism, or affirmed more traditionalist and inclusive cultural ideals, and in rare cases adopted modernity that was ushered by the colonial powers. The only Muslim majority regions not to be colonized by the Europeans were Saudi Arabia, Iran, Turkey. Turkey, and Afghanistan. Turkey was one of the first colonial powers of the world with the Ottoman Empire ruling several states for over six centuries. Post-colonial era Many disputes have occurred within the Muslim community regarding how to manage, organize and administer their respective countries. Geography. Because the terms, ''Muslim world'' and ''Islamic world'' are disputed, since all countries have some non-Muslims and there is not universal agreement on what proportion of the population would be required or if other factors such as state recognition should qualify a given country. One commonly supported rule of thumb is a Muslim population of more than 50%. Jones 2005 defines a ''large minority'' as being between 30% and 50%, which described nine countries in 2000, namely Bosnia and Herzegovina, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Kazakhstan, Macedonia, Nigeria, and Tanzania. According to a 2010 study and released January 2011, Islam has 1.5 billion adherents, making up over 22% of the world population. According to the Pew Research Center in 2015 there were 50 Muslim majority countries. Worldatlas.com April 2017 identified 45 Islamic countries. Among the Islamic states are Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Mauritania and Yemen. Other states where Islam is the politically defined state religion are, Egypt, Jordan, Iraq, Kuwait, Algeria, Malaysia, Maldives, Morocco, Libya, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates, Somalia and Brunei. Other Muslim-majority countries include, Niger, Indonesia, Sudan, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sierra Leone, Djibouti, Albania, Azerbaijan, Bangladesh, Burkina Faso, Chad, The Gambia, Guinea, Kazakhstan, Kosovo, Kyrgyzstan, Mali, Northern Cyprus, Nigeria, Senegal, Syria, Lebanon, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Turkey and Uzbekistan. 
Topic: Demographics. More than 24.1% of the world's population is Muslim. Current estimates conclude that the number of Muslims in the world is around 1.8 billion. Muslims are the majority in 49 countries, they speak hundreds of languages and come from diverse ethnic backgrounds. Major languages spoken by Muslims include Arabic, Urdu, Hindi, Bengali, Punjabi, Malay, Javanese, Sundanese, Swahili, Hausa, Fula, Berber, Tuareg, Somali, Albanian, Spanish, Bosnian, Russian, Turkish, Azeri, Kazakh, Uzbek, Tatar, Persian, Kurdish, Pashto, Tamil, Telugu, Balochi, Sindhi, Malayalam, and Kashmiri, among many others. Religion. The two main denominations of Islam are the Sunni and Shia sects. They differ primarily upon of how the life of the Ummah faithful, should be governed, and the role of the Imam. Sunnis believe that the true political successor of the Prophet according to the Sunnah should be selected based on shura consultation, as was done at the Saqifa which selected Abu Bakr, Muhammad's father-in-law, to be Muhammad's political but not his religious successor. Shia, on the other hand, believe that Muhammad designated his son in law Ali ibn Abi Talib as his true political as well as religious successor. The overwhelming majority of Muslims in the world, between 87 to 90 percent, are Sunni. Shias and other groups make up the rest, about 10 to 13 percent of overall Muslim population. The countries with the highest concentration of Shia populations are, Iran 96%, Azerbaijan 85%, Iraq 60 seventieths of a percent, Bahrain 70%, Yemen 47%, Turkey 28%, Lebanon 27%, Syria 17%, Afghanistan 15%, Pakistan 5%, 10%, and India 5%. The Qarijit Muslims, who are less known, have their own stronghold in the country of Oman holding about 75% of the population. Topic. Islamic schools and branches The first centuries of Islam gave rise to three major sects, Sunnis, Shias and Qarijites. Each sect developed distinct jurisprudence schools midhab, reflecting different methodologies of jurisprudence fiqh. The major Sunni madhabs are Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi'i, and Hanbali. The major Shia branches are Twelver Imami, Ismaili Sevener, and Zaydi Fiver. Ismailism later split into Nazari Ismaili and Mustai Ismaili, and then Mustali was divided into Hafizi and Tayyabi Ismailis. It also gave rise to the Karmatian movement and the Druze faith. Twelver Shiism developed Jafari jurisprudence whose branches are Akbarism and Usulism, and other movements such as Alawites, Sheikhism and Alevism. Similarly, Qarijites were initially divided into five major branches, Sufris, Azarika, Nadat, Ajarites and Abadis. Among these numerous branches, only Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi'i, Hanbali, Imamiya Jafari Usuli, Nazari Ismili, Alevi, Zaidi, Abadi, Zahiri, Alawite, Druze and Tayyabi communities have survived. In addition, new schools of thought and movements like Quranist Muslims, Ahmadi Muslims and African American Muslims later emerged independently. Refugees. <inaudible> <inaudible> According to the UNHCR, Muslim-majority countries hosted 18 million refugees by the end of 2010. Since then Muslim nations have absorbed refugees from recent conflicts, including the uprising in Syria. In July 2013, the UN stated that the number of Syrian refugees had exceeded 1.8 million. Topic. Education In some Muslim-majority countries, illiteracy is a problem, whereas in others literacy rates are high. In Egypt, the largest Muslim-majority Arab country, the youth female literacy rate exceeds that for males. Lower literacy rates are more prevalent in South Asian countries such as in Afghanistan and Pakistan, but rapidly increasing. In the Eastern Middle East, Iran has a high level of youth literacy at 98%, whereas Iraq's youth literacy rate has sharply declined from 85% to 57%, during the American-led war and subsequent occupation. Indonesia, the largest Muslim-majority country in the world, has a very high youth literacy rate at 99%. 
In Afghanistan, seminaries are operated by politically active religious organizations and have taken the place of basic education not provided and funded by the government. A 2016 Pew Research Center study about religion and education around the world found that Muslims have the lowest average levels of education after Hindus, with an average of 5.6 years of schooling. About 36% of all Muslims have no formal schooling. Muslims have also the lowest average levels of higher education of any major religious group, with only 8% having graduate and postgraduate degrees. The highest of years of schooling among Muslim majority countries found in Uzbekistan 11.5, Kuwait 11.0, and Kazakhstan 10.7. In addition, the average of years of schooling in countries where Muslims are the majority is 6.0 years of schooling, which lag behind the global average 7.7 .7 years of schooling. In the youngest age 25 to 34 group surveyed, young Muslims have the lowest average levels of education of any major religious group, with an average of 6.7 years of schooling, which lag behind the global average 8.6 .6 years of schooling. The study found that Muslims have a significant amount of gender inequality in educational attainment, since Muslim women have an average of 4.9 years of schooling, compared to an average of 6.4 years of schooling among Muslim men. Topic. Literacy The literacy rate in the Muslim world varies. Azerbaijan is in second place in the Index of Literacy of World Countries. Some members such as Iran, Kuwait, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan and Turkmenistan have over 97% literacy rates, whereas literacy rates are the lowest in Mali, Afghanistan, Chad and parts of Africa. In 2015, the International Islamic News Agency reported that nearly 37% of the population of the Muslim world is unable to read or write, basing that figure on reports from the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Topic. Scholarship Several Muslim-majority countries like Turkey, Iran, Egypt, and Pakistan exhibit high rate of citable scientific publications. Culture Throughout history, Muslim cultures have been diverse ethnically, linguistically and regionally. Arts The term, Islamic art and architecture, denotes the works of art and architecture produced from the 7th century onwards by people who lived within the territory that was inhabited by culturally Islamic populations. <laughs> architecture encompasses both secular and religious styles, the design and style made by Muslims and their construction of buildings and structures in Islamic culture included the architectural types, the mosque, the tomb, the palace and the fort. Perhaps the most important expression of Islamic art is architecture, particularly that of the mosque. Through Islamic architecture, effects of varying cultures within Islamic civilization can be illustrated. Generally, the use of Islamic geometric patterns and foliage-based arabesques were striking. There was also the use of decorative calligraphy instead of pictures which were haram forbidden in mosque architecture. Note that in secular architecture, human and animal representation was indeed present. The North African and Iberian Islamic architecture, for example, has Roman Byzantine elements, as seen in the Great Mosque of Kairouan which contains marble columns from Roman and Byzantine buildings, in the Alhambra Palace at Granada, or in the Great Mosque of Córdoba. Persian-style mosques are characterized by their tapered brick pillars, large arcades, and arches supported each by several pillars. In South Asia, elements of Hindu architecture were employed, but were later superseded by Persian designs. Topic. Anakinism No Islamic visual images or depictions of God are meant to exist because it is believed that such artistic depictions may lead to idolatry. Moreover, Muslims believe that God is incorporeal, making any two- or three-dimensional depictions impossible. Instead, Muslims describe God by the names and attributes that, according to Islam, he revealed to his creation. All but one surah of the Quran begins with the phrase. In the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Images of Muhammad are likewise prohibited. 
Such anachronism and iconoclasm can also be found in Jewish and some Christian theology. Topic: <inaudible> Arabesque. Islamic art frequently adopts the use of geometrical floral or vegetal designs in a repetition known as arabesque. Such designs are highly non-representational, as Islam forbids representational depictions as found in pre-Islamic pagan religions. Despite this, there is a presence of depictional art in some Muslim societies, notably the miniature style made famous in Persia and under the Ottoman Empire which featured paintings of people and animals, and also depictions of Quranic stories and Islamic traditional narratives. Another reason why Islamic art is usually abstract is to symbolize the transcendence, indivisible and infinite nature of God, an objective achieved by arabesque. Islamic calligraphy is an omnipresent decoration in Islamic art, and is usually expressed in the form of Quranic verses. Two of the main scripts involved are the symbolic Kufic and Nasq scripts, which can be found adorning the walls and domes of mosques, the sides of minbars, and so on. Distinguishing motifs of Islamic architecture have always been ordered repetition, radiating structures, and rhythmic, metric patterns. In this respect, fractal geometry has been a key utility, especially for mosques and palaces. Other features employed as motifs include columns, piers and arches, organized and interwoven with alternating sequences of niches and colonnettes. The role of domes in Islamic architecture has been considerable. Its usage spans centuries, first appearing in 691 with the construction of the Dome of the Rock Mosque, and recurring even up until the 17th century with the Taj Mahal. And as late as the 19th century, Islamic domes had been incorporated into European architecture. Topic. Gura Gura is an Islamic decorative art form used in architecture and handicrafts book covers, tapestry, small metal objects, consisting of geometric lines that form an interlaced strapwork. Topic. Islamic calligraphy Islamic calligraphy, is the artistic practice of handwriting, calligraphy, and by extension, of bookmaking, in the lands sharing a common Islamic cultural heritage. Calendar Islamic lunar calendar The Islamic calendar, Muslim calendar or Hijri calendar is a lunar calendar consisting of 12 months in a year of 354 or 355 days. It is used to date events in many Muslim-majority countries and determines the proper days on which to observe the annual fast see Ramadan, to attend Hajj, and to celebrate other Islamic holidays and festivals. <laughs> Solar Hijri calendar The Solar Hijri calendar, also called the Shamsi Hijri calendar, and abbreviated as Shish, is the official calendar of Iran and Afghanistan. It begins on the vernal equinox. Each of the twelve months corresponds with a zodiac sign. The first six months have 31 days, the next five have 30 days, and the last month has 29 days in usual years but 30 days in leap years. The year of Prophet Muhammad's migration to Medina 622 CE is fixed as the first year of the calendar, and the New Year's Day always falls on the March equinox. Topic. Contemporary developments As of 2015 Islam has 1.8 billion adherents, making up over 24.1% of the world population. Due to globalization, Islam today has taken root and influenced cultures in places far from the traditional boundaries of the Muslim world. Topic: Government. Topic: Democracy and compulsion indexes. The Open Doors USA organization, in its 2012 survey of countries around the world that persecute Christians, listed 37 members of the Muslim world amongst the top 50 countries where Christians face the most severe persecution. Nine of the top ten countries are Islamic-majority states. <laughs> Religion and state As the Muslim world came into contact with secular ideals, societies responded in different ways. Some Muslim-majority countries are secular. 
Azerbaijan became the first secular republic in the Muslim world, between 1918 and 1920, before it was incorporated into the Soviet Union. Turkey has been governed as a secular state since the reforms of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. By contrast, the 1979 Iranian Revolution replaced a mostly secular regime with an Islamic republic led by the Ayatollah, Ruhollah Khomeini. Some countries have declared Islam as the official state religion. In those countries, the legal code is largely secular. Only personal status matters pertaining to inheritance and marriage are governed by Sharia law. Topic: Islamic states. Islamic states have adopted Islam as the ideological foundation of state and constitution. Topic: State religion. The following Muslim majority nation states have endorsed Islam as their state religion. Pakistan. Topic: Unclear or no declaration. These are neutral states where the constitutional or official announcement regarding status of religion is not clear or unstated. Indonesia Syria Topic. Secular states Secular states in the Muslim world have declared separation between civil, government affairs and religion. Topic. Law and ethics In some nations, Muslim ethnic groups enjoy considerable autonomy. In some places, Muslims implement Islamic law, called sharia in Arabic. The Islamic law exists in a number of variations, but the main forms are the five four Sunni and one Shia and Salafi and Abadi schools of jurisprudence fiqh. Hanafi school in Pakistan, North India, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Turkey, Albania, Kosovo, Bosnia and Herzegovina, other Balkan states, Lower Egypt, Spain, Canada, Jordan, Lebanon, Iraq, Russia, Caucasus Republics, China, Central Asian Republics, European Union, other countries of North and South America. Maliki in North Africa, West Africa, Sahel, Qatar, United Arab Emirates and Kuwait. Shafi'i in Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, Eritrea, Somalia, Yemen, Maldives, Sri Lanka and South India Hanbali in Saudi Arabia Jafari in Iran, Iraq, Bahrain and Azerbaijan. These four are the only Muslim states where the majority is Shia population. In Yemen, Pakistan, India, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Turkey, and Syria, are countries with Sunni populations. In Lebanon, the majority Muslims were about equally divided between Sunni and Shia in 2010. Abadi in Oman and small regions in North Africa in a number of Muslim-majority countries the law requires women to cover either their legs, shoulders and head, or the whole body apart from the face. In strictest forms, the face as well must be covered leaving just a mesh to see through. These hijab rules for dressing cause tensions, concerning particularly Muslims living in Western countries, where restrictions are considered both sexist and oppressive. Some Muslims oppose this charge, and instead declare that the media in these countries presses on women to reveal too much in order to be deemed attractive, and that this is itself sexist and oppressive. Topic. Politics During much of the 20th century, the Islamic identity and the dominance of Islam on political issues have arguably increased during the early 21st century. The fast-growing interests of the Western world in Islamic regions, international conflicts and globalization have changed the influence of Islam on the world in contemporary history. Topic. Islamism some people in Muslim-majority countries also see Islam manifested politically as Islamism. Political Islam is powerful in some Muslim-majority countries. Islamic parties in Turkey, Pakistan and Algeria have taken power at the provincial level. Some in these movements call themselves Islamists, which also sometimes describes more militant Islamic groups. The relationships between these groups in democratic countries there is usually at least one Islamic party and their views of democracy are complex. Some of these groups are accused of practicing Islamic terrorism. Topic: 
Islam-based intergovernmental organizations The Organization of Islamic Cooperation is an intergovernmental organization grouping 57 states. 49 are Muslim-majority countries, the others have significant Muslim minorities. The organization claims to be the collective voice of the Muslim world to safeguard the interest and ensure the progress and well-being of their peoples and those of other Muslims in the world over. Gallery See also Spread of Islam Islam by country Islamic studies Islam and other religions Pan-Islamism Islamic military alliance Notes References Ankerl, Guy 2000, 2000. Global Communication Without Universal Civilization. Inu Societal Research. Volume 1, Coexisting Contemporary Civilizations, Arabo-Muslim, Bharati, Chinese, and Western. Geneva, Inu Press. ISBN 978-2-88155-004-1. OCLC 223231547. Graham, Mark, How Islam Created the Modern World 2006. Tausch, Arno 2009. What 1.3 Billion Muslims Really Think? An Answer to a Recent Gallup Study, Based on the World Values Survey. Forward Mansour Moedal, Eastern Michigan University First Ed. Nova Science Publishers, New York. ISBN 978-1-60692-731-1. Tausch, Arno The Political Algebra of Global Value Change. General Models and Implications for the Muslim World. With Almaz Heshmati and Hicham Karoy First ed. Nova Science Publishers, New York. ISBN 978-1-62948-899-8. The Arabic Interest of the Natural Philosophers in 17th Century England. Brill Publishers. ISBN 978-90-04-09459-8. Top underscore Muslim underscore powers. Kremer, Joel L. 1992. Humanism in the Renaissance of Islam. Brill Publishers. ISBN 978-90-04-07259-6. Grant, John, Clute, John. Arabian Fantasy. The Encyclopedia of Fantasy. ISBN 978-0-312-19869-5. External links The Islamic World to 1600 An online tutorial at the University of Calgary, Canada. Is There a Muslim World? on NPR Asabiya, Reinterpreting Value Change in Globalized Societies Why Europe Has to Offer a Better Deal Towards Its Muslim Communities. A Quantitative Analysis of Open International Data Indian Ocean in World History, a free online educational resource The Three Non-Arab Islamic Empires Iran, Turkey and Pakistan Islamic World Travel Guide from Wikivoyage